Okay, guys, so my brother has a baseball tournament in Manhattan this weekend, and he is all ready to go with his jersey, pants. Where's your socks? They're on his feet. You're wearing no socks. Okay, he has a game tonight at 9.30 o'clock at night, so I might not be able to record that one because it's going to be too dark. There's lights, though. Okay, but it might be hard to see, but There's I'll definitely lights, try to get you hitting, okay? Cool. another video and this weekend my brother has a baseball tournament in Manhattan Kansas so I thought it would be fun if I vlogged the whole trip because why not you get to meet all these baseball players and you get to see my brother hitting and fielding because that's always fun anyway if you like baseball you should watch this video also I'm kind of in the packing stage right now I have my stuff everywhere because we're leaving at like 5.30 tonight, and yeah. So I'm gonna show you how my packing's going. So I pretty much have everything like on the counter of what I'm taking, and I'll just have to put it in my suitcase. I also made a list of everything that I need to bring so that way I don't forget anything. Ooh, I should probably bring this in case I get sunburnt. Yeah, we're gonna bring that too. Okay, cool. And here's my suitcase. It's just a smaller suitcase. And I'm bringing these new heels that I just bought from Walmart. And I really love them. They're really, really cute. So I'm definitely going to bring these and maybe wear them to church. And I also got this from Walmart. It's a Cetaphil kit. And it comes with a daily facial cleanser, moisturizing lotion, and Cetaphil wipes. Which is only $12. So I'm definitely going to be using that on the trip. I also put some of my smaller things in little baggies so that way they won't be moving around so much on the way there. So now I just got to put everything in my suitcase and then I'm ready to go. Also, if you wanted to know why I started making a list when I've been traveling, well, it's pretty obvious, but there's a story behind it too. When my sister had a volleyball tournament in Louisville, Kentucky, I forgot to pack my contacts, so I had to wear my glasses the whole time, which totally sucked. So, that's why I make lists. It's very helpful too, guys. So, if you want to start doing that, make sure you group everything together, like shoes and clothes in one category, and then your like bathroom stuff in another. It's just so easy, and you won't forget anything. Okay, so another great traveling tip for me is that... I don't track my period all the time, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get it or not. So I always make sure I bring tampons and pads just in case. Another great traveling tip is to clean out your hairbrush before you leave. So that way you won't get a ton of hair in your travel bag and it'll just look so much nicer. Another great tip is if you don't want to bring a whole container of something because you're afraid it's going to spill everywhere. And in an airplane, you can't bring too much weight. So you can put it in a contact container or a small container of anything just to make sure that it doesn't spill everywhere and that you could feel safer with it in there and you don't have to worry about it the whole time you're on the plane. So I always have a pot holder for my straightener just in case it might burn through a counter or something this one doesn't get that hot but i just like to be cautious just in case and you can also just wrap it up in the straightener so that way it can minimize the heat another great traveling hack that i like to do is to put my swimsuit and my swimsuit cover up and an extra ponytail in a separate bag like this one so that way if you get like to the hotel and you want to go swimming and you don't want to have to sift through your suitcase to find your swimsuit, all you have to do is grab this bag and go and it's just that simple. So that's why I like to do this. And I also like to put my wet swimsuit back in here so that way it doesn't make the rest of my clothes wet or I put it in a Walmart sack. Also before you go on vacation, make sure your pet has an adequate amount of food and water before you leave because you do not want them to suffer when you're gone. And there's Cloud right there. Hi, Cloud. How was your snooze? Sorry I woke you up. Anyways, I'll stop talking to the hamster now. Um, I make sure I fill up the food bowl and the water. But this is a hamster. If you have like a dog or something, you probably want to give the dog to like a family member, a friend, or neighbor 
to watch over while you're gone just to be safe. Also, before you leave, make sure you check the weather of where the place you are going so that way you know what to pack. But the weather could change unexpectedly, so make sure you are ready for any possible situation. Okay, guys, we just left our house, and there's my dad. He's going to drive us there, and we will be there in approximately 2 hours and 45 minutes. Okay guys, had to make a pit stop at McDonald's because we are super hungry. And when this girl's hungry, she needs to eat. Okay guys, for my McDonald's meal, I got a cheeseburger and ketchup only because I'm a picky eater. And I got some french fries, which is in this bag. Daddy, make sure it doesn't spill. French fries. And of course, some sweet tea. They didn't have any lemonade there. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but when I go and order sweet tea, they give me unsweet tea, and it's disgusting. Who drinks unsweetened tea? It's gross. Okay guys, so it says we are 55 minutes away, which is good because I'm getting really bored. The first thing we're gonna do when we get there is check into the hotel, and then we're gonna go to his 9.30 baseball game. Now you heard me right, 9.30 baseball game tonight. Yes. And we finally got to the hotel and we're gonna bring all of our bags up. My dad's checking in right now. So yeah, we're gonna bring all of our bags up and then we're gonna head to the field. Okay guys, we have finally made it to the hotel. The TV's kind of small, but oh well. Also the pool is really small and there's gonna be like multiple teams here, which could be an issue. Also, the viewers railroad track, so that's cool. Anyways, this is will, this is where we will be staying for a couple days. Okay, we are finally at the field now. There's my bro, number two. Hi. Look out for him. All right, score update. It's seven to five. We are up, and it's top of the third. It's like ten thirty right now. So the game doesn't have that much love. Ending score was 11 to 7, and for some reason they didn't play for that long, which I'm kind of confused about. The other team kept smacking in the outfield, hit it inside the park home run, so yeah, we got our butts kicked. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this week's video. This is going to be part one of the Manhattan trip. Stay tuned for part two, where I show the coming home and the plays that my brother has made in the games the first part was just mostly travel tips and getting there so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for part two and i'll see you guys later bye tournament in kansas manhattan i'm gonna redo that great travel tip trip so yeah, this is where we, this is we, bleh, can't speak. This is, okay, hold on.